The story of the Nigerian woman in business is gradually changing from operators of a small family enterprise to managers of big corporate organizations. Fidelity Bank PLC has consistently championed this cause through its SME scheme to support the growth and development of small businesses, particularly enterprises run by women. Some of us want to stay to build. And I really this time, the company is providing a mentorship platform to educate female entrepreneurs on how to scale up their businesses. Business is an independent entity, separate from you. Pay yourself a salary. Tell your neighbor. What would it do for you? It tells you what you can afford and what you cannot afford. If you do have employees, one staff, two staff, remember that they are an investment. They are an investment and you need to take the time to train them properly. When you employ them, write an employment letter. Let it be clear what they're expected to do. You're broke now, you're the MD of your company, you can't pay your staff, you're struggling. It gets better. But how does it get better? You have to look at your business. What kind of business are you really doing? You have to start thinking, this is 2020. It's even easier now to succeed than when 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, when we were, um, when we were starting. The bank promises to continue to expand the frontiers of funding for SMEs as well as continued support for women entrepreneurs. You saw some successful female entrepreneurs already who came here, shared their stories and um, offered to be mentors to the younger ones. So that's just one of the um, things that Fidelity does uh, to strengthen our women empowerment program. Again, as you know, recently we obtained a facility of $50 million from the African Development Bank. About 30% of this is dedicated to female entrepreneurs. Through this platform, Fidelity Bank hopes to give women in business a stronger voice as this revolutionary day continues to inspire women across the world.